The next important skill is writing up. Now you will already have skills in writing, but I want to mention a couple of things that are very important in the Victoria context. One of the first is that your own views are the most important thing in your assignment. It's quite okay to refer to the views of others, uh, to get some information, some arguments, but in the end, you'll be judged on what your views are. This could be called having an authentic voice. But there's another part of this skill in writing up is that in this country, in this culture, it's not okay to plagiarize. Plagiarize is when you use someone else's words without attribution. In other parts of the world, it might be common to copy the words of others. In some places, it's seen as, as a form of um, flattery appreciation of other people's work, but it's totally the opposite in this culture. There's a, an expectation that what you write is your own views put in your own way. Now, your lecturers can tell when something is copied because they read many, many essays. So just be very careful of that point. But also, your lecturers want to know what you think, and even if the grammar is not perfect, they'll appreciate it something where you've put forward your views and are looking perfection in grammar, they're looking for the interesting arguments that you put. The other thing about writing up in this culture is that there's no one right answer. The answer may be very varied. It's the quality of your arguments that's important. So don't try to think, what is the right answer this lecturer is looking for? Because the lecturer doesn't have a right answer for a question. The lecturer is looking for a good answer, an answer that's well argued. So think about this when you're writing up. What's your point of view? What are your arguments for it? What's your evidence? And that's the way that you'll get a good result. If you can develop a, kind, a sense of kind of, you know, conversation with the readers to show them things and walk them through the process, then I think it would be a very good, very good um, skill to develop. And when it comes to actual practice writing, the very first advice is to give you heaps of time before the deadlines. Don't just you know, crash in the last minute because it, like, if you think that it may take you three hours to write a paper, maybe give yourself six hours or even nine hours so that you can, you know, you, first you have better ideas. You don't just have the cheap ideas, you know, things that people can think like, after a second, you can think of that one, but you can have better ideas and really dig, that, dig deeper into it. Another key element in writing up is handling feedback. Sometimes it's difficult for us to get criticism of what we've written, but one of the skills that you can learn here is to receive feedback and respond to feedback. And the good students are those who can receive the feedback and respond well to that feedback you can share your you can share your um, your drafts with your classmates or with uh, people from SLSS, the Student Learning Service Support, because they wouldn't they they wouldn't get make, they wouldn't uh, they would not like you know correct your paper entirely, but they can give you feedback on whether they understand your arguments, whether they understand what you're trying to communicate, and think that's a very important thing when you write. Clarity is the priority. Try to, to focus on your uh, outline and focus on the topic that you are writing about. And after you finish your essay, you can go back and read whatever you, you want to read. And be sure that you have time to meet a teacher at SLS to get more edition or more advice on your writing before you hand in. I want to link the skills of reading that I've just spoken about and writing to the concept of critical thinking you can look up a famous taxonomy called Bloom's Taxonomy, and it's a taxonomy of critical thinking. The reason I suggest you look that up is that you can understand the difference between basic, simple thinking, which is remembering facts, rem identifying ideas, and it's much more complicated to understand, to show a, an understanding of those ideas, 
And it's even more complex to be able to analyze those, those ideas. But the highest level of critical thinking is to make an assessment or a judgment or an evaluation. And I'm mentioning this here because when we are reading your essays in order to mark them, we're looking for your assessment, your critical view, your judgment of the question that's been set. And that means we're not looking merely at the facts that you bring or the arguments that you bring, but your conclusions. And very often, if the conclusions are brief or not well put together, you're not getting as good a mark as the student who has put a very considered judgment and uh, more considered conclusions. So the tip here is to look for that literature on Bloom's taxonomy or read books on critical thinking, which will help you also with your writing. The final tip in this section concerns dissemination. Now many students write essays and have them marked and then simply put those essays in the drawer. No one else benefits from their work and also they don't learn any more about that subject because they haven't shared it. But in my experience, the keenest students and those who want to continue learning will then share their essay in some form with the world. You can share on such platforms as Academia and ResearchGate. You can say it's a draft. You can invite your friends to make further comment. You can think about whether that essay in the future might be published in some form. But it's best to get into the habit now of sharing your ideas and sharing your work rather than simply writing it for one person to read, just the examiner the lecturer in your course. I'm suggesting that if you take on this skill of disseminating, you will say to yourself, I've just spent two or three weeks working on an assignment, or even longer if it's a proper research paper. How can I share this with a wider audience? How can they benefit? And how can I continue to learn about this topic?